welcome to this week's video. Um, I'm just going to be going through my first aid kit, equine first aid kit, I should um, say. Um, not everyone's first aid kit should be this large, <laughs> but over time in having horses for six years, we have um, got a lot of stuff. Um, and we've also got my lorry first aid kit, so I'm just going to run through what we have. But before, this should not look like this, so we're not just, good, is it, Lil? We're just going to have a little tidy. First aid kits should not look like this. They should be easy to get things, and you know, very organised as such. But these are not organised, so we're going to have a little sort out and um, tidy them up before we begin. Um, so I've just emptied my two um, first aid kit boxes. I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. Um, obviously, Nappies. well, they're for me, you see, you know. When you go jumping. Issues sometimes. <laughs> when you go show jumping. <laughs> yeah, um, or anything really, trotting poles, anything. Anything out of um, a walk. Yeah, so I've had horses for six years and this is sort of a follow-up from last week's video of owning shadow um thanks to shadow i do have a very large first aid kit i could probably do a colic surgery to be honest <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a lot of dressings um sprays powders even an asthma pump never you, never sure that. <laughs> you never know um a lot of thermometers and a lot of vet wraps um, I think goodness. the vet wrap was on offer. Well, I don't know, but thank goodness I haven't actually used a lot of vet wrap in my time. I think it was on um, offer. It was like buy one, get one. Yeah. And the best thing and is we've actually got a Bellet quite bad. And mugs <laughs> and so pens. We have We've spent too much time at Bellet Quine because we actually have got one of their bags, mugs. Oh, God. I think we've actually everything. got more than one of their bags. Is that another Bellet Quine bag? Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> This box is going to be um, for my creams and sprays and ointment sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, we we crack on. So first product, we've got some Suda cream because you know everyone needs a bit of Suda cream, especially after you've got nappy rash. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Um, it's an antiseptic healing cream. Um, I've got a couple of antiseptic creams, which derma gel, ibuprofen gel. <laughs> That's for you. That's probably for me. Uh, expiry date May 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Tea tree mist. This smells lovely, actually. I don't think this has got a date, so this is all good. <laughs> That's brilliant for um, really good. Like sweet itch and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it was it? brilliant for Millie with her sweet itch. Then we have some SCP spray, which is actually like classed as silver spray. So it's a little bit similar to the purple spray, which we have here which I have had for these whole six years and I don't think it's ever been used. Um, it's just it's leaked, leaked lots. everywhere, so that's why it's in its own little bag. Um, Purple straight, I tell you, you don't want to get, if you get that on anything, everyone knows. Um, these are just both anti, um, antiseptic, antiseptic yeah, sprays. So for small um, wounds, for wounds that and don't need. Wounds and stuff. Um, sorry, Perry just decides to freak at things. Um, so Might need the first aid kit on Perry in a minute. No. They're my antiseptic sprays. Or maybe more sprays anywhere? There's some around the side here which you've missed. I have actually got quite a few um, mud uh, creams and stuff. This is the Muddy Buddy ointment um, for like mud fever and things to prevent it. So uh, luckily we don't need this out at the moment. So I'm going to put it in my sprays and um, what do you call it? Sprays Lotions and, and potions. Lotions it's and nearly potions. nearly Halloween, Lily. It's Lotions and potions. Then we have some frontline spray. This is brilliant. This is some mud shield powder Keratex. Um, that's really good for mud fever as well. Um, when we was at a yard once and it was the mud was horrendous, so we've got like it wasn't even mud, was it? It was no, worse than mud. It was like I don't know what you just got. It's like a volcano. It was like a sea of brown mush and. Um, it go over your wellies that's how bad it was if your um, wellies actually stayed on in the mud yeah mine didn't <laughs> um then we've got some needles which are actually were for um shadows nebulizer because to 
fill uh, Shadow's Nebulizer with um, the medication, you'd have to use like a needle and syringe it through. So we've actually got to syri syringe it. Oh. Syringe it. Look at me in a sec. Syringe. Syringe it through to the nebulizer. So we've got a few there. But you never know, see? There's no point in chucking out these things. So we've got Danalon. That's Danalon. Danalon. That's a Danalon, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um, so some sort of pain relief or something. Um, we've also got some butte here. Um, so I've just put the butte in there. Um, however, I would like to say that i wouldn't be i wouldn't be using butte on your horse unless you've been advised from your vet um so we just have some in stock as such this bell equine bag is full of vet wrap and we've got two um rolls of cotton wool which rolls are brilliant aren't they because you can definitely i've got another underneath one bandages here. if you need to so i'm going to slip this in here because you know what that fits very nicely. Look at that. Um, so we've got another cotton wool here. So I'm we buy them when they're on offer. We get we stock up on cotton wool, don't we? Yes. So this bag is now going to be my dressings bag. As you can see, I've got a lot of dressings here. Um, we've just collected them over the time. Um, so we've got four hoof poultices here, which is like for abscesses in the foot, um, which is also why we've got those nappies there. But the nappies aren't going in the box just yet. So these are gonna go in like that. Um, then we've got a natural lint. We've got lint. Nat natural lint. It's lint. Oh, lint. Not sure what lint does. It's another, it's like a oh, non-stick, non non non-fluffy dressing. Oh, okay, so just a dressing. Um, then we've got some of these melolin. Again, that's and a, it's lint. a dressing. It, melanin, I think is non-stick. So another another dressing of some sort. And then I've got some dressing pads for humans. Um, <laughs> then we've got lots of rolls of the special vet wrapping dressing thing. Um, they're really handy actually. Just like a little roll. You've had your hand in one of those, haven't you? And yeah. all sorts really. Yeah, I, why did I put my hand I don't know, you just obviously felt like it. <laughs> we've also got a lot of gloves because you never know you never know when you're gonna need a pair of gloves a whole box a bag of rubber gloves some paper gloves that i think you nicked from the petrol station <laughs> i didn't nick them for the i don't think they were from the petrol station so i think oh, you find they came with something oh, right, okay and it's, so i'm just going to chuck these at the bottom back the front we've got some tape here all different colors and cannot go without that it, that tape, <laughs> tape fixes everything doesn't it? Yeah. So this is going to go in the first aid kit at the front here. So we have all our rolls of tape together. Another thing that I'm keeping at the front is this hibby scrub. This is another needed thing, I think, because it's Wait. antibacterial. It cleans our hands and then also... Skin cleanser. Well, it cleans our hands and then also if you, if you dilute it down enough, you can just clean out like, like very shallow wounds and stuff yeah. like that, can't you? Um, you can just act like you're a vet, really. We've got three big syringes. Two non-sterile, um, one sterile. Yes. Um, Useful if you have to get butte. And then get covered in it. And then get covered in it or for flushing Any out sort of wounds and stuff. Med medication, because like when Diamond was being treated with ulcers, you had to syringe stuff and get covered in and it. And obviously the sterile one for flushing out oh, yes. wounds. And this is this is staying sterile. 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 La, la, la. <laughs> um, pair of scissors, very important in your first aid kit. So I'm just putting sort of like the bits and bobs at the front here. Can you um, do that again with the day go now? Bits and bobs. What about the, um, do you want to have a little look? Oh, at the front, yeah, look at that. Look, look at those bits and bobs. Now. Neat and tidy. Dressings, lotions and potions and bits and bobs. Lovely. So, next moving box. on to the next box. Um, we've got a large dressing here. Large dressing. That's in case you need to bandage yourself up from yeah. head to toe. <laughs> because I'm going to need to do that. Um, so that Look dressing, at the fit of that in that box. Oh no, though. it's good, isn't it? Then we've got my nappies here. Um, 
mother said we needed some nappies to do poultices. Um, so we've got some nappies. Anyone that knows will know. <laughs> um, so they're going to go there. Then we've got two um, rolls of cling film. Um, we've got Tesco's one and Sainsbury's one. Again, is used for like poultices. Would it be used for anything well, else? Well, I think we used it for um, some, I, I can't remember, but it it's there. Then we've got some green gel. I don't know how many times I can put shadow on a pot. I think that was like the first thing you ever bought. Lily's gel, shadow, shadow. Um, but we've used quite a lot of That's that. That's good stuff. Everyone's used that. That's every yeah, yard we've been on. I guess so. Nearly it's every really horse good. has had a little dollop it's of that. Ice gel, so it's really cold. So if they've, like, if we've been to the beach and had a good canter, we just act like we're inventors and put this on their legs, really. Yeah. <laughs> this bag is full of um, uh, worming kits. Worm count. Count kits. Um, we're on a monthly. Um, Subscription. Subscription. That's the word. So they automatically Subscription send it. on uh, with Bell Equine. Every season we get given one of these little boxes. Oh, has... look, look what's in there, Lil. Oh, another lady yes. glove love because we don't have enough. Where you put a bit of poo oh. in there. Nice. <laughs> Sorry, who right, puts so a bit of poo in? Her mother does that because <laughs> it's brim. <laughs> then it just sends off. Already to stamped. Pow. Done. And then they email us with their worm counts and if they need to be wormed they're wormed but luckily we, we get zero like worm counts at the moment don't zero. we the last thing in our equine first aid kit which i have to be honest has probably saved shadow's life a few times um is it's this... not something that everyone no. has it was only after um it is a stethoscope How's that spelled, Lil? I, I had to think about saying that properly. How do you spell um, So we can act like we're a vet. This is why I bought it, just to act like I'm a vet. You can listen to gut sounds, heart rate, um, everything like that, which we normally do while we're waiting for the vet. Um, seek and flush. The seek and flush. Everything like that. Very. It's actually really interesting. The next thing we've got is these three thermometers because you can never have enough thermometers well you can guarantee one doesn't work um, no they all work no if in doubt and if you're worried about your horse give the vet a shout get the vet and we're the first to like the second one of ours don't look quite right we call the vet um, they get a bit fed up really. so we don't actually use our first aid kit no so. in fact we probably could sell all that yeah and, and um no yeah but it's always handy to have because you never know and like the hippie scrub just washing out a little cart and things like that um but luckily we haven't had to use much of the dressings as such um, because we do just tend to call the vet straight away. Um, so those two are done. These two stay in my tack room on the yard, which is there. Um, so I can quickly, easily get to them and things like that. What happened? How did you get that? All oh, right, okay. So um, basically, Bell Equine put on a Facebook um, competition to win your own first aid kit and Shad's won and it Shad's won it and I decided to put this one in the lorry um so it's a complete first aid kit which I'll show you again So these are my first aid kits complete. I'm going to go and put them back where they belong. But it was really good to have a little tidy up and a little check of what I've got in there and what I haven't. I'm just going to add a clip of me scrolling through the Gillick Cook website. Of all Sorry, what's that? Scrolling through the Gillick Cook website of all their first aid products. Um, I am just going to add in the basket the basic first aid um, elements. Basic parts of a first aid kit yes um i do know that gillick could offer um i think they do a first aid complete kit complete first aid kit there's a quite a few on there um so like this complete with stuff in there um but i'm just going to add in the basket what i think is needed and show you the total amount it comes to also i would recommend um if anything goes wrong on your yard to call a vet um and maybe ask them what you can add in there uh in your there first aid kit your first aid kit because every horse is different but thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you enjoy scrolling through gillicook's website and i'll see you guys next week bye